Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the info endpoint that can be used to expose the information of our service like the version of the current running service, the git commit, java version, etc. Okay, first of all we need to expose the info endpoint. So, as we did in the last video, we for the health endpoint, we also want to expose the info endpoint this time. And let's see what it's going to give us. Then I will run the application. Future this time is info. So basically, even we export the info endpoint, but there's no information. Okay, let's back to our documentation. Remember from the last video, in health endpoint, we have many provided health indicators. So similar for info endpoint, we also have the info contributors auto configured for us as well, like build environment, Git, Java, operation system. In those, build and Git info are enabled by default. Meanwhile, the environment, Java, and operation system are disabled. Okay, let's confirm them in our IDE. So here we have management info, right? Management info. And see, we have OS disabled, Java enabled equal files, right? Disabled, environment disabled, but the build and the git is enabled by default. So build and git enabled. Okay, let's back to our documentation again. And we will start with the easiest one. Writing a custom info contributors. All we need to do is to provide a bin that implements the info contributor. The use case is when we want to provide an information in runtime, like how many users currently connect using sockets to a service, for example. Okay, so to make things simple, I just want to copy it and to prove that it's going to work. So for example, server contributor. Then I'll copy this one. Just Okay, so we're expecting that we'll have some information about the example with key and value here. And restart our service. Then we refresh it. So now you see, yeah, it's worked. <laughs> now we have the example, key, and value. Okay, let's move to the next one, the operation system information. So just simply, we just need to enable the OS inform. Then how about OS enable, then true. So let's see what it's gonna give us. Okay, now we have OS here, the name of the OS, the person. The next one is Java information. Yeah, there's nothing much. So we can move it fastly. Management, Java, true. So now I'm going to enable Java. Let's see. Here. Okay, now I have another value, Java, and Java. There's some information of Java here. Okay, so that's the end of the simplest one. The next one we are going to see is its view information. As you know, being the view inf is enabled by default, right? But we haven't seen any information about it. Because Let's look at the meta inf view info of property here to check for the information in the current. Okay, let's see in the current. Let's check our view resources. So they only have one file application properties. 
there's no build info properties here so we have to generate it and wait a bit and luckily we have the documentation here to generate the information okay so if you are using maven this one is for you in my case i'm using gradle then i'll copy this one and i will paste it in the build of gradle hmm. okay by using this i'm tell the springboard to generate the build info dot properties file under the resources for us and let's see i'm ref Run the radar again, then going to clean and build it. Build it again. Okay, now see my build, my build folder here and the resources. So now we have under the main folder, we have a new folder called Meta INFREC. And in here now we have the build in folder properties. So what we're going to have here is we have the view artifacts, root, the name, a time, and a version. Okay, so now let's run the application. Run it. Okay, then let's check again. Okay, view info, artifact, name, time, version, and the root. Now I want to add more some additional properties. For example, uh, radial. I'm gonna add a description for my project. Uh, actual turn demo, something like that. And I also want to add some information about my Spring Boot version. How do I do that? So let's check. So I'm I'm using Radio and I'll um, check the Radio documentation. Okay, here. So now I can add more information. So exclude some date, uh, some views. For example, exclude the time here. But in my case, I would like to add some information. So I would like to have the property and additional here. Okay, let's do it. You info, so this time be in for property addition properties, then description. Like to add description and Spring Boot version. For example, I'll copy my Spring Boot version, and the description is from the draw check. Okay, I just want to check again. View clean build. Is it okay? So, resources view info property. Okay, now I have the directions and the Spring Boot version here. That's good. So, it must be appear here I'm going to reload this one and refresh now we see Spring Boot version uh, and the description that's good so close this and to be make sure that you know in the jar here we have the right file, we can double check. I'll use jar tf and the part to our jar here, view lips and actual third dot jar case. So I want to see the meta in app is really in my fat jar. Okay, now you can see I'll scan it. 
you see Meta INF build up in property. So it here include included in the first year. So then I would like to have it so to download extract it and see what exactly in this file. Then draw want to extract it and this one I want to extract the view informality file okay now I have new folder here and it said view informalities this one is from the flat year and I'll double check it again okay so it's the same with the one here The view time is different, yeah. Okay, so everything so good so far. I'm going to delete it. Just want to double check, and it's good. Okay, let's go ahead and move to the next one. Next one is the Git commit info. Git information is also enabled by default, and it also doesn't show any information for us in the info page, right? So again, like build this one depend on the git doc property files and we have to generate it as well so let's see how to generate the git doc property files here so this is for maven and this for radio so basically we just need to add this plugin to our build of radio okay copy this one um, Where's my build of radio? Paste it here. That's it. And for me, it's provided information more than enough. So I won't go in detail. But if you want to customize something, you can follow this link and find the GitHub here. So in that, you can have the documentation. For example, you would like to you know, add the information to the manifest. So you can follow the documentation to do that. For me, uh, it's over then enough. Then let's run it. Um, reload radar. Then clean, for example, clean, view, and view again. So this time I expect there of another file named git property here, resources. So you see, we have view info, now we have git properties. And in git property, we have a lot of property like branch, uh, commit, the commit IDs, uh, and more the remote origin URL, something like that. Okay, then let's run it and see what going to give us. Okay, so in fort, now we have a git, and it's gonna give us range the commit, commit ID, commit time, and that's because uh, we only enable, we only you know like export it in a simple form. So if we would like to show all the information here, uh, we can add an information to properties like management uh, git mode so the current mode is simple so that's why we only see uh, three properties range commit id commit time but i would like to get a full information then i'll change it from simple to full and reload Okay, let me check again. So now you see Git. Git uh, gives us a lot of information. Commit, ID, user, view, user, dirty text, any information that you could find here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And also the last one the environment information 
this one is disabled. So we have to enable it first. Then go into enabled environment enable. True. Okay, so I enable environment. But we still have to provide some environment. So any environments uh, have prefix info will be showed in the info contributor environment contributor. Okay, so for example, let's say I would like to have this one. They also have info prefix. For example, what if I don't have it? So like decoding. Okay, and I'm going to restart the application. Okay, I'm going to refresh this one. Now we have only encoding and Java source, uh, Java target. So there's nothing like app decoding, right? Because it's not start with the info. Okay, don't need this one. I also want to test giving the environment variable from the real environment variables. So I'm going to config the configuration here. I turn on the environment variable here and I'll put something like info of eight, eight and info of beat equal beat. So I expect them should be showed in the health endpoint as well. Okay, let's see. So now I'm going to refresh, restart up service. Okay, refresh. Then now we have B, B, A, A. Both of them from the environment contributor. Okay, some things are covered. I think I'll end this video here. Thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and the series. Hope you can learn something new here. See you in the next video. And as usual, happy coding.